This episode of Scenes from a Hat is sponsored by MarsCon 2023, when books come alive. Find out how you can attend in March at marscon.org forward slash 2023. Hey, hey, all right, all right. Welcome to Scenes from a Hat. I am your host, Jay Sterling. But, but more importantly, I got a great show with all these wonderful people behind me. So let's get to it. from a hat. Our wonderful little family says, who's in chair number one? I'm going to tell you. In chair number one, we have Miss Beva. In chair number two, John Bickford. In chair number three, Deanna. And in chair 3.5, we have Snarky the mascot. And in chair number four, Mark Olson. Like, Snarky, Snarky needs to go someplace and we need to get, get the energy of the show a little higher. So, here, Snarky, light us up. Light up every. Wow, first try. Awesome. We will now have Mark walk a tightrope. All right, the name of the game, the name of the show is Scenes from a Hat, and that's what we do. I'm going to pull cards out of this hat, and everyone is going to contain a scene supplied by our wonderful audience. And we will start with number one, which is Party Quirks, Party Quirks. Come on down, everybody. This is, uh, Vickford gets to host this one. John Vickford, come, come on down. So the way this works is that they're all going to grab one of these without looking, please and they will enter in chair order. Now, John is throwing the sensational swing and party of the 70s, and he's invited these three terrific guests. They have never seen those little notes that they've just given, uh, been given by me, and John's gonna have to guess who they're, who these people are that he invited and why he'll have to figure it out on his own. So uh, I, I, I see, by the way you're moving, John, you might be playing some music. You got the vinyl spinning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, little lounge, little lounge. Okay, all right. And as John guesses them, uh, we'll buzz them off, and off they go. So, uh, da, 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 I hear the music, okay, and meanwhile. Ooh, 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 that was quick. Oh, come on in. Hey. <laughs> we have chips. <laughs> we have dips. We have a thing for keys. You're still here. You know you could go <laughs> at any moment. Anybody could. I can't just, I just no, there you could go. No, I just don't really, believe it. It's not how Anybody. I to live my life. Just, just, oh, 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 yeah. We, we, need, we need 20 cc's of morphine right here, right now, stat. You could just go oh. poof. Oh. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, that's, poof. Oh, you should. Come on into my living room. That's, yeah, no, that's no, 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 that's no visitors, no visitors, no visitors. That's no private visitors. area, you can't, you can't be in that area, that's private. Mm. Um, all right. Oh. Okay. Well, hello, John. Okay. Get, hello. Got to get that. Here we are, folks, live from the Bickford party. No, just, and, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, got to get a vein. Oh, get a vein. yes, yes, yes. Please close the door. Here we are live from the Bickford party. And, John, would you like to tell me uh, why you called this party together? <laughs> um, well, just so I could be on the local news. <laughs> yes, Am yes. No, 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 no. No cameras, no cameras. No visitors in here. You want to give it to him? Yes. Reporter? Yeah. Reporter, there you go. Right on. Mark's out. At any roll moment. On, okay. Roll on. Just combust. Yeah. Clear yeah. that pistol. <laughs> Poof. And combust. Well, at any moment. Do you have do you have do you have proof of this? I don't need proof. It Wait, happened. Okay, we have it happened. Have to to like, like, like just spontaneous? Yes! Well, that scares the, me a lot, and I, I wanna I wanna 
See what? She, <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> clear. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Very okay. Nervous. We got him back. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> You, you okay. sound like you may and have lost a patient. <laughs> no, almost. We, got, we almost got, but we're, we're good yes. now. We're good now. Um, so I, I need 20 cc's right? of morphine no, now to All make right. sure that she stays comfortable. Okay, doctor? Mm -hmm. I need, I need, I need 20 cc's of morphine. Can you go? Can you get that, someone to help me with that? Well, I mean, that, that got, we got to go through proper channels. There's a machine for it. Oops. Come on, Jack. Okay, well, he needs to be comfortable. Not going to matter. <laughs> gonna go and combust. Uh, oh. Okay, well, you, you know what, doctor? Us. I'll go get it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to make the patient comfortable. Are you a we need nurse to in my house? <laughs> it's not ER nurse. Yep. <laughs> And you just want me to blow up. You seem like you want me to blow up. You think I'm going to blow up. I think you're a munitions Everybody. Are you like a munitions expert? No. Oh. I think that um, people will spontaneously. Because you believe that people bl just spontaneously combust? Yes! Hey, all right. <laughs> Sorry about that one, Mark. That was an easy one. I was whipping these well, up real quick. It got, it got yeah, me to yeah, thinking of what I could have done differently, yeah. though, because I could have played with the others and actually made it more of an investigative reporter that's kind true. of thing. So, until next time. Until next time. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Three and speaking of next time, I'll pull one from <laughs> that, and we have Imagine That, another game. This one's called Pros and Cons. Pros and Cons. And this is for... Beva, John, and Deanna. So, three, Andy, and Indiana. It sounded like I said Indiana, didn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Indiana. So, no. come on up. Uh, Beva, we're going to let you make the decision. So, you pop in the middle, please. Now, the way this game works is that Beva has a decision to make, and John and Deanna are going to be for that decision or against that decision. Mm. And which role they take is going to be based on our lovely studio audience as well as what Beva's decision is. So what is Beva's decision? Generally a single concept, like yes or no. Should she do something? What is it? Should she make a dating profile? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know right now, her husband's in the audience and he looked and just smiled at me. <laughs> like, uh, okay. So, um, yeah. So John. Yeah. Should, should John, okay. So John is either for her making the dating profile or against her making the dating profile? Four. 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 So Deanna, you don't want her to make the dating profile. And these are the voices in your head, Bev, okay? So, so <clears throat> you talk to them, and when you make your decision, you just go ahead and grab one with your arm or whatever and begin to walk off all in the scene. So it's player driven, all right? Making a dating profile, should or shouldn't you? Miss Beva, whenever you're ready, start us off with pros and cons. You know, I have been thinking about creating a dating profile, but I don't know which one to go on, first of all. And I just don't know if I what? want to. Would you really, really want to do that? I mean, think of all the, the, the crazy people that'll just um, start creeping on you. Yeah, mm. I don't know. It's true. Um, yeah. There are but, some but, out there. But really, think of all the crazy people that are going to be creeping <laughs> on you. Well, I know. I mean, I mean, it's really fun to look at all those people and kind of go, mm, swipe left, swipe right. Do you really think you want to do that? I mean, uh, there's so many crazies on there. They're going to be out lurking on you and everything. I mean, ew, that's just gross. Yeah, kind of. But, but you can think of it this way. There's a whole lot of crazies out there and they're going to be lurking on you. All over. Yeah, I can swipe left or right, and you know some of those people are really crazy, and it's kind of fun to kind no, no, of. No, 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 no. You get carpal tunnel in your wrist from doing that. If you wanted to see all the crazies, you just go on friggin' Tumblr or you go on um, on Reddit, and you can see all that there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I could find one the old-fashioned way and go to a bar. Ooh, yeah. uh, bars, bars, bars are old school. Bars are old school. You gotta get with the new kids and do it on 
a phone. If you want to meet somebody, you, you want to meet somebody, you need to meet them in person first. I mean, what if, yeah. I mean, it's gonna, this is going to come out and um, somebody's going to come over and you're going to try Netflix and chill and they're... Do I know what Netflix yeah. and chill means? Yeah, yeah, I don't well, you know what I'm saying. Do that. No, because you, you never know. It could be um, like Dahmer or something and be, <laughs> really make you chill. I mean... No, chill, chilling is good. Chilling is good. I like chilling. Uh, uh, yeah, Netflix, I, I don't know. Care. Chilling, I like. I don't want to end up in your freezer. <laughs> I think I'm going to go there. End game. And our next game is story time. We haven't played this well. Story time. Everybody, come on down. Stand in line, please. <laughs> Now, the way this game oh, works great one. is that our, our fun, fast, friendly improvers are going to make up a story, one line at a time. But they won't exactly go in order all the time either. So what's going to happen is we're going to start off. Beva is going to be number one. John, number two. Deanna, three. Mark, four. Very good. And the first round, I'm going to go in order, and then I'm going to start mixing it up. And what, pray tell, is this story? Well, let's go to our audience. Oh, great, wonderful audience. What is their story? What's the title? Give me the title of, of maybe uh, something like a kid's book. Everyone poops. <laughs> <laughs> so our recent uh, mom, Miss Marissa, uh, part of our troop, uh, oddly enough said, Everyone poops as she's holding her three-year-old. Where she got that inspiration? I, three months, has no inspiration. Story time, all players, title, everyone poops. Actually, that's the name of an actual book. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> so, story time, um, everyone poops. Make it up as you go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and then I'm going to rearrange things for a little bit. Miss Beba, start us off with everyone poops. Everyone poops. Everyone but the kid next door. <laughs> Because never seen him use the restroom ever. I've never seen my cat poop. Two. <laughs> but I have seen cat poop. Three. When, but when my dog poops, it's so much. One. <laughs> my dog eats my cat poop. <laughs> Three. And my son likes to play with it. <laughs> Four. Ew. <laughs> Two. Eh. Four. <laughs> yeah, it's me. I'm just moving slowly today. But why does the dog eat the poop? <laughs> One. The dog eats the poop because he thinks it's yummy. Uh, three. <laughs> because everyone poops. Two. Sometimes. <laughs> Four. Oh, <Huh>? Reggie. <laughs> Holy snacks. One. And this is why we educate people on why everyone poops. And see. I was gonna go one more, but that was a good closer. We're, 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 we're very educational here, it seems, from the hat. <laughs> There's a lot of things that we show you that you shouldn't do. <laughs> and should. But you and should poop. Should. <laughs> well, you can't hold all that in. No, no, no. No. Very bad for your health. So, yeah. all right. Oh. The alphabet game. It's Mark's favorite game. Speaking of Mark, <laughs> come on down, Mark. Shice. You are going to be joined by Miss Beva. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this is a replay of last time. Should we just give up now? Not necessarily. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> Might be good. Yeah. So, we got this. We got this. We, got we need a scene, dear audience. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us. We need a scene, dear audience. Where are they at? What are they doing? Ice fishing. Nutrition? Ice, ice fishing. Ice fishing? Okay, that'll work. We were lake fishing in the prior show. Uh, and a letter, what letter should we start with? X. 
I'm going to pause for a minute to give them time to think of something to begin with the next. That's not Xanax. <laughs> oh, Beva just gave me like as if I need time. So Beva's going to start us off with the letter X. And Mark will have the sentence following that with the letter that comes after X, then back to Beva, blah, blah, blah. And we will end when we return to the X. Miss Beva, whenever you're ready, please begin the alphabet game and tell us all about ice fishing. Xylophone. I brought my xylophone. <laughs> fish love the sound. Yes, they do like music. I have read a, read that. Zoe, my friend Zoe, loves to go ice fishing. At times, I use a bottom bouncer to get things down there and... Bobber, my bobber's moving. <laughs> Can you please then try and get the fish? <laughs> dogfish. It's a dogfish. Ew, dogfish are slimy. <laughs> frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Go on. It's not that bad. Hard. Ice fishing is so hard. <laughs> Ice fishing is awesome. <laughs> justified. I feel so justified sometimes when I'm fishing. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Wait. Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Look! <laughs> my a huge fish! My, 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 it took you a while on that one. <laughs> nasty. That was a nasty thing to say. <laughs> okay, but it was true. <laughs> Please, stop picking on me. Queen, you just act like such a queen. Right? <laughs> so sometimes. Thanks. Thanks a lot for bringing me on this trip. Unless you really aren't having a good time. Very much so. <laughs> a very good time. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Xanax, it's time for Xanax. Xanax! <laughs> At the end, we can, yeah, we'll have that twice. <laughs> I was going to say, that was one again, but I was twice. like, no. That's kind of not very nice audience. <laughs> that would be Tom. <laughs> we know it was Tom. <laughs> we know, we got, we know him. We can take care of him right, next. That's right, that's right. Okay. So uh, I think Mark's going to slide me $20, Tom, and uh, have you do alphabet game next time. <laughs> okay, he says. <laughs> All right, next game is, it works. <laughs> two, count them, two line vocabulary. Ah, ah, ah. This is for Mark, John, and Deanna. Come on, step on down. Yeah. All right. As we know, we need a uh, scene, a question, a statement, a question, and a statement. So let's have a question first, please. Boy, this is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. John, <clears throat> your question is, who brought the snow? Excellent. Your statement is, I can't feel my toes. I can't feel my toes. Miss Deanna, your question is, where are my ice skates? And your statement is, this is heavy. So, Mark, you're at the Mall of America. However you want to swing it, works for me. Um, <clears throat> whenever you're ready, start us off with two-line vocabulary. All right, people, we got to get this display set up in the window so that the people walking by at the holiday season will enjoy being at the mall. Where are my ice skates? You know, you're not probably going to need ice skates for setting up the, setting up the display because it's a wood floor, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it is heavy, and if you would wait for me to tell you where to put it, you wouldn't have to watch it twice. No. Where are my ice skates? All right, you know, we'll, we'll get to those. Now, over there is a box that, that maybe you want to get to. 
Who brought the snow? That's what I'm pointing at is the box where the snow is at. Because, you know, we have to use that fake stuff indoors because it's not going to work. Well, that's a lot. If we don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, we can. Where are my ice skates? You know, we can, I tell you what, we will go down to the sports store and buy you some ice skates later. Um, and you can put them around your neck and you can be, stand like this. <laughs> stand like this. Now point your finger. We'll make you a permanent part of the exhibit. <laughs> and you can be like you're going ice skating. But All right. This so, is heavy. Yes, <laughs> it is. And have I told you what's in there yet? No, I haven't. And so, why are you lifting it again before I tell you what to do with it? Who, you know, you're going to hurt your back. You keep doing what's who? Who brought the snow? Well, you just did. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> you went to the box I sent you to. You came back and you brought the snow. How about that? I can't Here feel my are toes. My ice skates. You know, it's 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 80 degrees in this thing. It's, the, 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 the heavy lights are on, and you can't feel your toes. Maybe maybe you need to go to the doctor's office down at the other end of the mall and get checked out because if you can't feel your toes indoors, there's a problem. Who brought the I, snow? Uh, that's what's going on. He's wearing your ice skates. <laughs> and if you look at your foot next to his foot, I don't know how the heck he got that ice skate on. I uh, can't my feel my toes. <laughs> you certainly can't feel your toes. You're wearing her ice skates. We won't have to. Yeah, it's yeah. Heavy. Untie them. I, uh, just untie them and make him get out of heavy. them. Heavy. Now, <laughs> let's see. How am I going to get these two to really do anything that's constructive? <laughs> what am I paying you for? I have no idea what I'm paying you for. Okay. Mm. Now, you know that box you're picking up? Mm. That's the Christmas tree. So you mm. don't need to pick up the whole box. Open the lid. Yeah, that's it. That, open it up. Look at that. It's in two pieces. Well, <laughs> heavy. Yeah, the bottom heavy is heavier, but get it up. Set it right here. Set it right here. Okay, there you go. Good. Now take take the other part, and you put that, and you flip it. You see how it kind of sticks in there? There we go. We got a where, Christmas tree. Where are my ice skates? Um, did we already talked about it on his feet. Mm -hmm. Who brought the snow? <laughs> you brought the it snow. And I so appreciate you following instructions uh, and doing what I'm doing. I can't feel my, my You know what? You know what? <laughs> he ain't happy. He's my brother. Oh, indeed. Oh, that was a lot of movement on that one. That was a good feel. Stretched out. Everything groovy. Mm. <laughs> so, were you, uh, was Snow, uh, uh, were you in to get cocaine, John? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. Snow, totally, man. Totally, totally something real fun. <laughs> Ooh. That's why I said nose candy, toes. that's all. <laughs> We haven't played this game for quite some time. Magic Oracle. Mm. Magic Ooh. Oracle. Again, uh, all four players, come on down. Hop in line, link arms, get together. Now, the Magic Oracle knows all, says all, beat all, and replies all. Um, very cryptic in, in, in its messages. Um, meaning what's going to happen is the audience is going to ask a question. I'm going to get questions from the audience. And they're going to answer it one word at a time. We have a... John, Deanna, Mark. So, and then when they feel they've answered the question, they'll take a bow. So, audience, what, pray tell, is a good question? What world answering problem, question, solve, whatever riddle you want to go with? Magic Oracle, how do I get my three month old to take a nap? Magic Oracle, how do I get my three month old to take a nap? Whiskey. <laughs> On a related note, I have to know Marissa prefers tequila, but that'll work. Uh, Magic Oracle. It needs another question. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Okay, Magic Oracle. Who is going to win the Super Bowl? This. Next. One. The money people. <laughs> <laughs> more than one word, but okay. <laughs> uh, let's try one more. Mm. Magic Oracle, how do I repel sharks when Boop. swimming off the coast of San Diego? Boop. Blip. Them. Nose. 
<laughs> wow, the questions are a lot longer than the answers. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have one more? Oh, Magic Oracle, where is Matthew's phone? Look in under pants. <laughs> 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 we did say he had it on vibrate, so. Mm -hmm. Our last game of the evening, the quickies. <laughs> Everybody, come on down and take the rug. Miss Beva, John over on that side. Dan and Mark over here, please. Now, the way this game works is I've got a couple of uh, little uh, game titles called quickies in the hat here, and I'm going to go to the audience. Let them pull them out, and we'll play the game. So, let's do it. You, my good man, why don't you grab one for us? Oh, my God. Yeah. What can I see with one eye? Okay. I need an occupation, a job, a profession. Gastroenterologist. I need a, a, an under, understandable job. <laughs> preschool teacher. Plumber. A high school. The preschool. A preschool teacher? Yes, and plumber. Well, this is the last show, and it might be a little blue. The name of this game is called World's Worst. They're going to give us examples of the world's worst preschool teacher. Good luck. Oh, wow. Whiskey? <laughs> Line up, you little <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time for nap. <laughs> this gas will help. <laughs> Sleeping gas, it wasn't poison. <laughs> You're not a monster. So what I did is I photoshopped out Waldo. Keeps him entertained for hours. <laughs> <laughs> So look, I'm really sorry that your mother didn't pump today. It is not my fault that she didn't bring anything for you. You're <laughs> just gonna have to wait till she gets back. Shut up and go to sleep! <laughs> I said, shut up. Okay, so today I'm just gonna recite the plot of uh, the, the Matrix. So, okay, so it's this. <laughs> well, that's my first day as a preschool teacher and uh, it says that sometimes I may need to rock them to sleep. I got one left. <clears throat> I need a celebrity or a famous individual. It could be real, it could be a character, it could be a cartoon, whatever, that has a very distinctive voice or mannerism. Bugs Bunny. Beetlejuice, Bugs Bunny. I like Bugs Bunny. This game is called Cutting Room Floor. And what this is, these are deleted scenes that uh, Bugs Bunny did, acted out, but they never made it. <clears throat> Take it away. Uh, what's up, Marv? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew I shouldn't have been making meth in Albuquerque. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, it's duck season. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone's going with the classic line. Yeah. <laughs> Piss off, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there, Porky. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, babe. 
cabs, let's say you, me, and Louise, we drive right off this cliff. <laughs> I'm now stuck with the carrot joke now. <laughs> yeah, the truth, you can't handle the fucking truth. <laughs> you know, I'd really like a cookie. <laughs> Just wait till my brother George gets here. <laughs> No, he's fine. <laughs> uh, I shot a wabbit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. That's a whole chewing thing going on now. Somebody get me a doc. <laughs> you know, I'd like to do more, but that's scenes from a hat. Thank you for joining us, everybody. All right. I want to thank everybody out there and here around me. It's a great show. I am your host, Jay Sterling, but more importantly, I am joined by Miss Beva, <laughs> Mr. John, Miss Deanna, and Mark. And don't, don't, don't forget. And Sam our mascot, Bud Durkee, the mascot. You can see us perform live at, at MarsCon. We're introducing the uh, festivities. Brought upon with wonderful script writing by our most wonderful, talented behind the scenes photographer, Ben Husset, who refuses to be on camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're performing. Oh, he's going to come on. Come on, Ben. Come on. Come on. Yay! 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 Ben's our, uh, our great photographer, has been with us for a long, long time since the beginning. And he's also on the board of directors for MarsCon because he feels as an artist he hasn't suffered enough. <laughs> and so we'll be at MarsCon introducing the show, and we've got the main stage on Saturday. And who's the special guest? What? At 6. At 6. Saturday at 6. And we've got some good guests at MarsCon? Yes, we do. I gave you the list. <laughs> All right. I was hoping you'd call it off ahead. So we're going to call this a show right now <laughs> and be cool and fruity and, hey, laugh at something because it's going to laugh at you. Good night. Good night.